The coolest aspect was telling my kids that I was going to be a voice on the, on, on the game. One of the most important aspects of NASCAR is obviously the spotter, and we've got a great lens to reproduce this in game. Come on, man, you have to pit this last. We got Ty Norris to be the player's spotter in the game, who used to originally spot for Dale Earnhardt. Um, and that was really exciting to work with him. Your spotter's always in your ear, advising you when to pit, when to save your fuel, what everyone else is doing in the race, how it's affecting your standings. I'm really concerned about your fuel. When I first started spotting, I fired myself after the very first practice session because I was too excited. So what I've tried to do is sort of reflect back on certain situations and, and try, to, try to bring some of that emotion back because, you know, these gamers, they want to be excited. They don't want to hear a monotone voice. One of the things that was very exciting for us and very important as well was to capture that intensity and the passion and the immersion into the NASCAR event. We wanted the fans of the sport to feel um, like they do at the real events. So we've got the pre-race shows and the commentary from the uh, Performance Racing Network guys. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Daytona. It's an absolute gorgeous afternoon. It's nice to be able to share the joy of what we do because when we hop in that broadcast booth, and put on those headsets and it's time to go. There's not a better feeling in the world. That is the place that you want to be. <laughs> well, the most fun was just sort of making this stuff up on the fly. The Aflac Ford flight, end over, end over, end. Oh, the humanity. No, I, I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> so getting into a studio like that and, and having fun. I mean, we had a blast doing this. They brought this energy to, to the game that, that's immense and just makes for a truly authentic experience. Mm -hmm.